everyone and welcome to today's Civil 3D lesson. So on today's lesson, I will be focusing on Civil 3D surface creation. So the surveyor can send you data in any format. It can either be in a point format, in a contra uh, format, in um, 3D faces, or even in poly faces. So surface creation is very, very important as it helps us know the topography of the site that we will be working on. So whether you are designing a sewer system, a water system, or even doing a flight line analysis, it is very, very imperative to know how to create a surface. So today specifically, I want us to focus on creating a civil 3D surface using 3D faces. So let's get into it. I have already opened my civil 3D um, software and I'm just quickly going to open the data that I got from the surveyor. Um, there we go. So this is the data that I got from the survey it's, and it's in 3D um, faces. So 3D faces, basically what it means is that it's not live. So you as the designer, you have to make it live. The faces will have the easting, the northing, and also the elevation. So um, once you have opened your file, all that you have to do is to go into your tool space under the prospector tab and the surfaces, you right click and say create surface. Um, you give your surface a name. I'll give mine NGL, which is natural ground level. You say, okay, then you drop down drop down and you also drop down the definition under drawing objects you right click and say add so you can see that it says object type object type it can either be points it can be lines it can be blocks text 3d faces or even polyface so in our case we are working with 3d faces i wanted to maintain edges of the object and you say okay so at the moment, we have created a surface that doesn't have anything inside it. So the only way to make sure that now we are creating a surface, you'll see that it says select object. So you go and you select all the 3D faces. And there we go. So this green line that you're seeing here, it's now our surface boundary. It has maintained the edges and uh, our style is in contrast. So basically what you can do, you can just put the surfaces on a layer that you just want to freeze. I'll talk more about layers later. So I'm just going to freeze the 3D faces layer and there is our surface. So you can even go to object viewer just to view. Um, can you see those are the 3D faces that you got from the surveyor, but now you have made them to be live. So live means anytime you change something on the surface, it will become live. Like it, it will, you can be able to work with it. Um, I hope you will pick up from this lesson and thank you so much for tuning in. And um, you can share this video with other graduates who are learning Civil 3D or just want to expand their knowledge. And if there's anything specific that you want me to cover, please write it down in the comment section below and I'll get right into it. Alrighty, see you on the next one. Bye.